We all know sending files from iPhone to PC is always an issue, but not anymore. In this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer any file from your iPhone to your computer. Photos, videos, PDF, zip files and so much more. You can literally transfer all kinds of files. Now you don't need a USB cable, iTunes or whatsoever. I am currently using Windows 11 but this works on all versions of Windows. Let's dive in. So we are going to connect our iPhone to our PC through FTP. Now the first thing we have to do is create a new user account for this PC. So head to your search bar. Now head to your settings. And then search for add edit. So you can see add edit or remove other users on this device. So click on it. And now let's add a new user to this device. So click on add account. Now you can see this is asking us to sign with Microsoft, but we don't want to do this. So just click on, I don't have this person signing information. Then it is asking to create a new account, but let's just click on add a user without a Microsoft account. Click on it. Now take notes of the username and password. We are going to use it later. So I'm going to call the username FTP user and then put a password you can remember there. We'll use it later. You also have to fill in the security questions. Okay, next. And we've created a new FTP user over here. Now we can close our settings. Now we have to create a new folder and this is the folder we are going to be sending files to and fro. So let's create a new folder. And we can call this iPhone data. Now right click on this folder and then go to properties. Go to sharing. And then go to advanced sharing. Now click on share this folder, click on permissions over here and then let's add new permissions. So click on add. Now type in the user you created earlier. In my case it was FTP user so just type in the username there and then click on check name. So you can see it will automatically add the name here. Click on OK. Now click on full control to give this user full control. And then click on apply, click on OK, click on apply again, click on OK. Now click on share over here and then type in the user again, FTP user in my case. Click on add. Now change this permission from read to read and write so we can both read this data and then write to this folder as well. Read and write share done and then close so we are done with the first stage now we can connect our iphone to our pc and then begin transferring data first connect both your phone and pc to the same network now go to files on your phone and then tap on this three dot icon at the top right corner click on connect to server now we have to get the IP address of our network from your PC. So head to your search bar on your PC. So head to your search bar, search for settings, open your settings and then click on network and internet. Click on the properties of your network. Make sure you switch to private network if it isn't already. Now scroll down and you can see IPv4 address which is your network IP address. Now we have to type this IP address in the server section on our phone. So type it in. Now hit on connect. And then enter the username which is our user account. In my case it was FTP user. And then the password we used as well. Make sure you enter the password correctly. Now tap next. And you can see we are now connected. Now you can see the folder iPhone data over here. The folder is empty and we can also see it on our phone. 
now let's try to copy data from our phone to our pc and you see how fast it is so we can go to on my iphone just open my chrome browser and then select this is a photo this is a test zip file and this is a test pdf now i can click on copy and then on my iphone i can just navigate back select shared iphone data and then copy so you can see the three new files have been copied to my system i can just refresh and here we go these are my three files now on my pc now the same way i can copy data from my pc back to my iphone so let's try copy something so i'm just going to copy a random file from my pc iphone data paste the file there and it will show up on my phone so i'll just add two files go back and then click on the shared folder iphone data and you can see the file setup file over here i can then copy it from here to anywhere i want on my iphone so basically you can share files from your iphone to your pc and from your pc back to your iphone easily now this doesn't use up your internet data if you were worried about that once you connect it will remain connected and you can transfer files whenever you want if this was helpful kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification thank you for watching and i will see you on the next one